welcome back to Popcorn for our Fringe Festival special. Um, we are covering a couple of events at Fringe this year and Olivia, I hear you got to see the sexy dudes at La Soiree. <laughs> I did, I got to see the English gents. Um, their little act and I got to watch a few of the other acts at La Soiree as well and then I got to interview the boys. So um, I think we should take a look at that first, shall we? Jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's have a look. Mm. Hi everyone, the Fringe Festival is here and I'm really excited to be at the Spiegel Tent for La Soiree with the English gents. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks Olivia. <laughs> so I'm with Hamish and Dennis you call yourself the English gents. How did the act come about? Uh, it, was, it was born of a, um, an idea that we had where we wanted to present the skills in some kind of theme or context or a narrative or characters. We didn't want to just do a demonstration of acrobatic tricks. So uh, we thought the English gents were fun characters to kind of like develop and you know, the, the, with the props and the costumes they were, and the cheeky twist at the end, uh, it all kind of like <laughs> made sense. Yeah, I do love the cheeky twist at the end, I have to say. Um, Dennis, how, how do you feel? I won't say exactly what it is. I guess I feel naked when I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you started off busking though, I believe, is that true? That's right. Uh, th that's actually where the English gents were born. Um, okay. We started street performing out of desperation as kind of like struggling <laughs> acrobats. We weren't making a lot of money. And uh, we had a lot of uh, success early on street performing and developing the English gents characters and. Um, and then the creative producer, Brett Haylock, uh, saw us busking on the streets of Melbourne and asked us to condense our, our 45 minute show into a five or 10 minute act to fit on a, on a tiny red stage. Um, just before I let you guys go, because you do tour everywhere around the world, what's your favorite place that you've been to or the most exotic place? Besides Perth, of course. Everywhere's different. <laughs> everywhere's fun, everywhere's different. There's always something good about it. Um, but being on the road for so long, Definitely Australia is home. It feels good to be home. It's just the little things like, I don't know, I love hearing Australian bird calls when I've come home and I haven't been home for a long time and it's just a really Aww. pleasant feeling. And um, look, really looking forward to seeing the show tomorrow night. I can't wait to see the full act that you do. I believe you do a pole dance as well. Yeah, <laughs> acrobatic pole dance. Yeah, ac acrobatic pole dance. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time out. I know you have a show on tonight, so I really do appreciate your time. Two shows. <laughs> Two shows tonight? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hamish and Dennis. Thanks, Olivia. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Great. Thanks. Bye. So did you guys enjoy that interview? Because I did. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. And you know, there's gentlemen with the suits. That seems like um, not very uh, burlesque at all. Do you, is it, I have to ask, is it a bit like Magic Mike? Um, yeah, you got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Along yeah. those lines without giving too much away. <laughs> Ooh, like, you guys are going to have to get tickets because I'm going to get tickets we too. Might, we might we, have to go and see it. Yeah, we might have to go. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to go and see you guys in your show because you're in a show together Yay. called Finger in the Dike. We are. <laughs> yes. Bit of a mm -hmm. weird name. <laughs> it is a weird name, and you know what? It's not what you think, everyone. No. So, shall we go to the interview? Alan explains it perfectly. He does. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we are here with the writer of the hilarious fringe show, Finger in the Dyke, Ms. Elaine M. So kind. <laughs> Elaine? Yep. Yes. Oh, yes. I thought... I thought... No, but... Alan? Well, yeah. What? It's one of those, you know, like... You know, of... Elaine is like the French pronunciation of Alan and M is for huh? Malcolm. That's clever. Um... I wish I'd used that one, actually. It was <laughs> because when I did, took the commission for the play, they mm. wanted a female writer. Oh. Okay, so I know a lot of my family and friends want to know exactly what kind of play I'm involved with. Can you explain the title to everyone, please? To people of a certain mindset, you just tell them it's about Holland. Okay. I, I have done um, this. To anybody else, they'll realise that it's just a writer's ploy to really get an audience. Um, I had to come up with a name for a restaurant. I figured a finger in the dike, bearing in mind the theme of the play is all about equality and the way people treat each other. 
And has the script changed much from that first script up until obviously our production now? Oh yeah, now? yeah. No, every same? time people produce it, the, although the theme is the same, the, the characters change wildly, and, and, and I love it when I when I look at the DVDs because I insist on getting DVDs, um, and, and I see the different takes that different directors have, different actors have. Yeah. For instance, Beck's character, the producer. Yes, yeah. yeah. you should see what they're doing with it. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we've had everything from a, like a Sado Mazo to. Uh, the most amazing queen, yes, Ryan McNally, we're talking about you, who <laughs> did amazing changes and just came names. through and, yeah, <laughs> stole the show, in fact. So this set behind us here, is this going to be on stage with us for our production? Absolutely, yeah. The, the set was designed a couple of years ago by um, a very talented young lady called Taylor Bates. And Chloe, your character, Sam, is yeah. the chef. Well, she's executive chef. Oh, first sorry. Of all. Okay, and um, she's a bit of she's the creative force of the kitchen, and um, I think Sam throughout this whole play goes on a bit of a journey. You know, she thinks she knows it all. She's come. She studied with you know the master chef Legal. And what about your character? Your character is one of the ones that Ellen was talking about before that has had a whole lot of changes with different productions. Yeah. Well, I, I'd like to think I've put my own personal stamp on it. As basically, I'm playing the producer of the reality TV show within the play. Now, my character's a little bit um, abrupt at times. and She's fabulous. <laughs> and, and has a bit of an ulterior motive. Not at all like reality then? No, 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 no okay. of nothing not. like Beck. Right. No. <laughs> Look, as a producer in real life, I'm quite fair, reasonable and calm, aren't I? <laughs> but, <laughs> but, in the play, when I play a producer, I'm actually very unreasonable and I'm very demanding. I think it's against type. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just so looking forward to it, as I say. Every time this, this particular play has been on, I, I've been gobsmacked, but I know all the cast and I think this is unusual for, for me as a playwright. I, I not only know all the cast, I've had nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a director who I have great confidence in. And um, so I'm just looking forward to opening mm. night. And I've got I've got my tickets, oh, and, good. and I should be down yeah. there. And um, as I say, the, the play's been going for 10, 11 years now, yeah. somewhere in Australia. And every time I've seen it, I've I've actually laughed, even though I've written all the jokes. Go figure. Well, you're definitely going to laugh this time. So guys, get your tickets now from Ticketek. Dot com. Uh, Finger in the Dark is playing at Dances at the Madge from February the 17th to the 20th. See you there, guys. It was so good to have Alan here on set and have a little chat about A Finger in the Dike. So be sure to check it out, guys. Come see us downstairs like at the Madge. It's an amazing show. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's been really good. So we've got like a couple of picks for all of you guys. If you're thinking about Fringe or you've never been to Fringe, We've got a few favourites or a few things that we think is pretty good to check we out. Do, we so, do. So, what do you reckon, Beck? We'll start with you. I think, look, there's way too many, way too many to pick. So, I think if you've never been to Fringe before, or even if you have and want to do something different, head down to Elizabeth Key. It just opened on the opening night of Fringe. It's amazing. It's an amazing fairground. Well, my pick, I'm a cabaret person. I love all the cabarets. So, I thought I'd go a little bit out of my box here. Um, I'm not really into stand-up comics, but the Edinburgh Comedy uh, Festival is on at the Court Hotel. Oh, it's won so many awards overseas yeah. um, that it's something that I definitely want to go and see and hopefully it will change my mind on stand-up comics. Awesome. awesome. And yeah. is that an 18 plus gig, obviously, just at the yeah, Court? Yeah, 18 plus because it's at the Court. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Mine's also an 18 plus gig. Mine's mm. at Connections. Nice oh. Yeah, <laughs> party time. <laughs> Cougar Morrison, okay, and his production is called Roar. And um, yeah, like I said, it's at Connections. It's from the 17th to the 21st. <laughs> and it's a, it's a cabaret performance as well. So many choices yeah. to see. There's no excuses not to go and see a Fringe show, guys. Lots of Perth talent as well. Lots of Perth talent. Yeah. 700 shows. Like, how do we see them all? But My calendar's already, like, completely, like... Filled. And I'm yeah. sorry for that. I'm like, can't it be 24 hours? <laughs> Can it. I keep on going? That's it. Well, 24, the average price of tickets is only $24, actually. That's right. So there you go. go. We're here for Mark as well. <laughs> <laughs> 
enjoy everyone. We will see you in about four weeks time when popcorn comes back. Season four guys, oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, we're excited. we're excited. Where is the time gone? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you going to give me an action or something? <laughs> so fringe, Chloe. Okay, so no action, Joe. I was just going to say how long you're going to sit there for. Well, that's a bit stupid, isn't it? I'm f***ing <laughs> <up. laughs>